Today we're going to be uh, showing how I insert a nuke, a four frame nuke, into one of the dead outs. This spot died and some people just, if they already have lots of equipment, they just buy a four frame nuke. So this is a four frame nuke that we prepared the other day. It has bees and a queen. She's been laying in here, hopefully, for the last little while. This particular one's a little on the weak side, as most of my four frame nukes are a little bit stronger than that. So, what we do, we place our prepared brood chamber in location. We take out four center frames. I'm left with six because I like to run ten. We take our four frame nuke. And we effectively just place it in the center. I'm going to clean up some of this little burr comb because that ends up just rubbing the bees the wrong way. So the, it's quite straightforward when you have, here's the queen, nice big queen, she hasn't, hasn't laid a whole lot, the weather has not been great, but even these frames, they're all full of eggs and larvae, so she's ready to go, she's building up the nest, the population. So she's laying on, on three of the four frames. So what I notice when I'm making this up is she doesn't really have any place to lay. So what I may do, I may insert at this time an empty frame in the center. I don't want to put too much room in there because they won't be able to keep it all warm. So now I've had a frame of honey that came out of here, a frame of brood, an empty frame that was in my prepared box, and uh, finishing up with two frames of brood. These outside edge ones have honey in them. So I've given her a little bit of room in order to expand. She'll lay in this new frame as soon as they get it cleaned up. And as, as the population builds up, I may have to move other empty frames into the center to give her a little bit more room, or we may convert it to a double uh, 10 frame hive. And a lid. And as simple as that, we have it converted to a single. And that's cut. 